hello everyone and welcome back to another video and guys i want to advise you don't skip this video this video has got a lot of information inside for free so make sure you watch to, to the end if you want to get the information all right um this infinix smart Six came for repair from another technician i'm going to give you more details during the course of the video all right now the technician reported that the phone was not charging faster okay and as you can see from my amps that is 0 0.6 amps right there and anytime you see this 0 0.6 amps on your dc uh, i mean on your charger meter it shows that the phone is not charging properly and look at the percentage is 36 percent that means the amperage should go around 1.1 1.0 1.2 1.6 thereabouts okay so if you want to learn more about this please come and join my online training it's not uh it's not expensive it is really really affordable for you all right now let's go straight into the video the first thing we are going to do guys is to insert the charger and get our multimeter to take some readings now i want you to pay close attention at the reading on the multimeter okay now putting your multimeter on uh direct current voltage reading that's called dc reading your black probe will be on ground and your red probe to the v bat of the battery terminal now take a look at the reading 3.5 now guess how many volts should you get on the battery terminal it's supposed to be 4.2 now this is test point on the main pcb you should get your five volts right on that test point now let's read the test point with our multimeter okay let's see if we get five volts on that line and this is five volts that means from the charging port to this test point on the pcb which is the vbus line the voltage line is good now let's trace the line from that test point to what we call the ovp ic and the um charging ic okay now let's please pay close attention at this okay now the line comes from the vbus line from that test point i show you on this line goes all the way to this capacitor to this ic this ic is called ovp ic you get a 5 volt there and the 5 volt continues to the next and it enters into this what we call charging ic or you call it dc to dc ic because it converts that 5 volts we measured there to 4.2 volts for the battery terminal to charge your battery so the 5 volts enters from here you see it's now v charge from v bus is now v charge and this is the ic responsible to disseminate the 4.2 volts to the battery terminal so if you have a fluctuating reading on the battery terminal you should pay close attention on this one of the things you should pay close attention to is the charging ic I hope you guys are following because it's supposed to convert that 5 volts to 4.2 volts. Now, let's go ahead. Now, the VBAT goes right here. We're supposed to be 4.2. I hope you guys are getting me. So, that is it. Now, let's go to the next thing. Let's next line of action. Now, because that IC can be uh, having partial contact or probably having a problem okay so we are going to check the ic i mean the charging ic first and what we are going to do now is to reflow the charging ic we are not going to remove any shield we are not going to remove the charging ic okay all we are going to do is reflow to be sure that that line is okay there is a specific information i'm going to share with you guys uh towards the end of this video so make sure you keep watching and don't skip okay now i have reflowed i'm reflowing sorry i am reflowing the charging ic like i said the charging ic was supposed to convert the 5 volts to 4.2 volts for the charger uh for for the v bat to charge the battery all right now we are having 3.5 volts on that line why are we having the 3.5 volts one of the problem causes of the problem can be this charging ic so i'm just going to shake it you see the way i'm shaking it 
i'm shaking i'm just tapping a little bit on the side now after doing that we are going to take another reading let's plug in our charger meter and let's see if there is a difference in the reading on the charger meter now i'm going to plug in my charger now pay close attention now that's number two pay close attention at the charger meter number two the light the charging light is already displayed the led light and you can see from the charger meter is already showing 0.5 amps and the, the charging logo and 39 you see it goes straight to 0.7 remember previously it was around 0.6 there about 0.7 fluctuating all right now that means the problem is not solved okay guys now the technician told me he has already replaced many downboards i mean the sub board he replaced a lot of sub boards and they were not working so um after i've reflowed the charging i say i'm like okay since this guy said he has changed the the the, the sub board now let me examine the sub board myself and as i as you can see guys the sub board is is looking clean i mean it's it's looking new all right it's looking new all right let's continue examining let's continue examining oh oh oh, oh and i got something right here guys which is very important for you guys to also see all right now it looks like he has also replaced the charging port on this new sub board are you guys seeing what i'm seeing physical inspection you can see you can see right there so it shows that he has um, worked on the charging port and i wasn't suspecting that at first because he told me a new uh, downboard was installed on the phone but now coming to check um this pcb now it shows that that technician already um replaced the charging port and it is not properly replaced guys if you are interested in our online class make sure you dm us on the numbers on the screen and we'll chat with you okay dm us on whatsapp and as you can see that charging port is poorly soldered by the technician so um if a technician can work on a charging port and it's looking like this and i was i even believed him when he said he has replaced the downboard several downboards and it wasn't working so now you can see what is going on guys now let's continue we just need to resolder the legs of these um charging ports then we are going to uh test the phone if it's going to charge or not if it does not charge i'm going to tell you i'm going to tell you guys what next to do now look at the look at the first pin second pin third fourth fifth everything is looking sharp everything is looking very good now as you can see it's looking very very okay all right so now let's put back the pcb the i mean the sub board and check with our charger meter and see what is going on all right guys i need to pass some informations so guys now if you get 3.5 volts on the vbat line after you have inserted your charger without the battery being connected without the battery being connected on some devices the 3.5 volts you get simply means the 3.5 volt is actively not driving the vbat line possibly because number one the battery is not detected that's why you get that reading the battery is not detected that means some charging ICs don't output the full voltage unless the battery is present. Okay? Number two, it can mean that the charging circuit is weak or it is faulty. This could also mean that the charger is not supplying the full V-Bus, which is 5 volts to the charging IC. So you need to check those lines. And the final one, which is number four, is possibly because the charging port is not properly connected as you can see in this video we try to reflow the charging ic okay and we read the v the v bus line the v bus line was giving us five volts which is a very perfect reading which simply means that the problem of this phone is the 
charging port not properly installed even though the technician told me when he gave me the phone that he has changed several downboards and i believed him that's why i couldn't even check the the downboard at first i believe the technician okay so now this is a lesson for you and me uh particularly for myself if a technician told me they change the sub board i have to verify before continuing my troubleshooting but the phone is working perfect now thank you so much for watching